We are on Crime Island. For right at the moment. Today is my last day off before the holidays, <laughs> but I can't seem to stay away. Well, there we have it. Somebody's magnetized all the bouncers. Right. You... I need useful crimes from out of your pocket, please. Hey, friends. What can we get for you? Crime brulee. We were hoping you could give us a little information. Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. <laughs> What'll it be? The drink situation. Groggy nog. <laughs> so, like... The chauffeur is sober. Maybe the, maybe this is a virgin cocktail. I feel like you're tricking me. But I don't know, like... Coming right that's... up. I'll ask Gus if I don't know what it is. He's better with the weird kind of stuff people ask for these days. Some of these cocktails make me need a spa day. Confusion. He <laughs> what you want to be information number one. This one is Lemonade. Yeah, that seems Yay. Lovely. Does that sound good? I've successfully found a viable drink. Here you go. Magnificent. Like, the Garibaldi didn't flag up as alcoholic, except I could have sworn it had rum in it, so maybe I just don't understand something so about a specific type of rum. We've run into a roadblock in our search for but Hayden. Let me know the truth. Let me know the We're truth today. That he's gone missing, which I'm sure you already know. What can I do? Um, yes. An informant of ours needs secure transportation out of the city. But we don't have any contacts who would be able to get us an untraceable car. Just mentioned that you used to engage in certain extra legal activities. They were more legal than laws. Which is which is in a, which was illegalized in 2053, because we, we they we just decided collectively that we can't we can't be fucking with it. We don't know what that means. And then needed put. Someone who could help? Please point at the nearest car criminal. Uh, he doesn't do that kind of stuff anymore. Right. Sorry, friends. But could you point at somebody who does? I left that life behind a long time ago. <laughs> I don't really keep in touch with that crew anymore. Ah, of course. Completely understandable. Sorry to bother you, then. Well, no harm in asking, right? My reputation precedes me. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. Gus, I need to go to the back. Have a cute laugh. Stuff to restock for the rush later on. Mind manning the bar for me? The annual mind manning rush. Take your time. I think I can keep things under control. We man all of your minds at once. The brain control machine you, is absolutely fantastic. Well, that leaves us at a dead end. Any ideas on how we should proceed? Some nose to the ground journalist techniques for finding leads? I could lift a brick in the air. I've got the brick. We stole the brick from a public place. So if I if I show my trophy, hold it aloft, and declare myself the king of crime, then they're gonna all come out of the woodwork to prove me wrong. Because here's the thing, I know stealing a brick's not that severe. So, someone who's into illegal car crimes is easily going to top that. 
So they'll all come out and be like, oh yes, and they'll hold the car aloft as their trophy. And then you tackle them to the ground. I'll take the car, put it in my pocket, and we go back to Vincent with it. Um, I'm kind of surprised we didn't go to Tomcat first. No, Tomcat has already stuck their neck out for us too often. I feel a little bad about how much we've relied on them as it is. And besides, this is a considerably more felonious action. Morally, we should be dirtying our own hands. Well, we don't have that many hands as things stand, me old mucker. Um... Are you criming out loud to in front of the bar? You... You... We could find that... the car that has already been used for crimes. We could investigate something until somebody else gets run over, and then you could tackle that car to the ground and I'll put it in my pocket and we take that back to Vincent. That's not the worst idea. I don't think it would get noticed as long as the car had the appropriate registrations. But the permits to operate a manual vehicle are prohibitively expensive. Well, couldn't we prohibit them from being expensive? Nobody will mind. It's just an eye for an eye at that point. A casual collector might still maintain one, but only a wealthy hobbyist would have the appropriate stickers to make the car roadworthy. We'd have to do a B and E, as Chad put it before. Risky. Bacon and eggs. You gotta make breakfast for the car collectors before they'll let you anywhere near the stickers you need. I guess you do put stickers on cars to make them. I thought that was just for tax purposes. No. Okay, okay, the two of you are killing me here. You know, you know the secret crime cheats. Look, don't tell Majid about this. But, here. You, you just have an Autocrime 9000 in your back pocket. What is this, Gus? It's my crime device. It turns you it's into a felon. vehicle maintenance scanner with a few less than standard upgrades. When you circumvent its security codes, you can use it to scan a car's installed firmware and replace it with a new set that will spoof its presence on the city's network. I love spoofing my presence on the city's network. That's the gist of it, but we don't have time to get into any specifics. You need to get the hell out of here with that before Majid gets back. Look, Majid has done a lot to turn his life around, to turn my life around. I really respect that about him, and it's part of why I fell in love with him. He did what I was never able to. Be gay and stop doing crimes. That's how we met, you know. That old rough-and-tumble life we both led. But when Stardust struggled and needed money fast, I had to get back in the game to keep us afloat for a few years. I told him it was all angel loans, donations from patrons, lots of things. He'd be heartbroken if he found out I'm still in the game. I had to do whatever I could to keep our new life, even if only one of us is really living it. I may as well give this thing to someone who wants to use it for good, too. I can't tell you how much we appreciate this, Gus. We might finally be on our way to solving this mystery. Yeah, well, you didn't get it from me, okay? You are the crime lads now. Just get out of here and get on with your little Grand Theft Auto. And let me know how it goes, okay? Of course! Let us succeed in car thefts today. Right. Off we go. To the realm of burglar- Oh, I completely forgot I had that in my pocket. I intended to drink that.
We are indeed gonna cook all of our bacon and egg. Well, we don't have to do that anymore. The collector can go fucking cook their own breakfast for all I care. I've got a steely theft I'm gonna I'm do. I'm searching the mesh for instructions on how to use this device as we speak. You can just do that and they don't... Like, someone's collecting that search data, aren't they? Like, they could do that now. Let's go look for some likely candidates. I should be ready by then. Have you got your own VPN or something? You're, you're, the, you're the VPN supreme, funny AI. Absolute stopping power. You can, you can just halt the momentum of any object, including... theft. Um... This is not related to the car. I wasn't paying attention to the last thing that you said. I have to be honest. Um... I guess for now I'll go and get money from a bear. Hello, the bear. I need to... I'll ring you again. Please. Can I have the coins? Patrick, I need the coins! Hello, Pat. Could we see Melody? I need coins. Uh. Well, I want the coins. I guess that means yes. I want they want I want the coins. I'm Pat. I didn't know that you had coins. Can I have some of them to look at? Hello. Hello, Melody Lelody. I would like to partake in some of your financial benefit. Tori, I'm not saying I don't like seeing your little pixelated face. You're certainly better company than most of the humans I have to deal with. But I am a busy woman, you know? Lots to do. You are retired and have not moved from that chair for half the day. <laughs> right, Pat? I'm, I'm a snoofus, I can't lie for you. I'm simply snoofing. Snoof. The snoof lies with me, you fool. Anyway, maybe we should space these little visits out a good bit further. Hmm? I will space you out in a second. Familiarity breeds contempt, after all. And I'm very good at contempt. I apologize, Aunt Melody. You've stated before that you like your peace and quiet, but we need your assistance. We need your coins. Oh, we're running with the aunt thing, are we? I am the Snoofer Supreme, and I'll snoof the coins out the ground. Give me a buried treasure. Another woman would tell you not to butter her up, but... <laughs> oh, flattery will get you everywhere with me. All right. What do you need? Coins! Vincent needs the coins from you I today. Imagine. If he's willing to turn coat on Parallax, I bet he feels like a mouse in a cat farm. You farm cat? That's probably a thing. I wouldn't have known because I'm not into trapping snoofuses in the realm, am I? I know they don't actually farm cats, Pat. It was oh, they a don't. Metaphor. I'm too credulous. It, it transpires. Not metaphor, but you're misleading the public. Whatever, it, it was a simile then. I am not going to play semantics with you. Yes, you are. I am in control here. Moving on. Tell me what the trouble is. The helmet he's wearing is actually a neural inhibitor. It limits his psychic powers. He'll tell everyone what a simile is if he's, if we're not careful. And I like his little jacket. Schnoof! Schnoofy little paws. Yes, Mr. Mensa says he needs 100,000 credits before he's willing to speak openly. He also said that you already promised it to him, and that he won't be able to get out of the city without it. 
He'll give us the information once we have that, plus a few other things I'm certain we can get on our own. But you can't even scrape together that kind of money. Your friend's not much of a journalist, eh, Turing? What do you think a journalist does? Oh, t t take money from corporations like yours so that you can control the news. Silly me. It is unlikely that a journalist of any caliber less than the best would have that amount of liquid assets on hand. Oh, if all we need is liquid, I've got plenty of that. I have a storage facility full of various liquids that I've collected throughout my journalistic career. One scoop of each of the you see, scoops, you see, do you get it? Journalism. The pay for the profession just isn't that high, Aunt Melody. Journalistic scoopings, hmm? Oh, I see. I guess it's one of those jobs people do because they get free review merchandise, eh? I've just realised the context of that and of that statement. Um, I don't know that I want to attack someone who has access to a bear. Let's let's just keep the snoofs on side. I can get you the money, Turing, but only because you're family. Just give Pat a few minutes to gather. He snoops the coins out, he's the journalist as well. Oh, not another bank robbery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just keep moving, you big brute. Brute snoof. While we wait, is there anything else you want to grill me over? Brutal snoofings. Might as well save us both another visit. I want to know how how, inte how intelligent the snoofus. Smarter than I give him credit for, that's for sure. Snoofarial majesty in the brain space. It's not the easiest thing in the world to measure, you know? He doesn't process language in the same way humans do, and even if he can understand me, my translation program just guesses at what he says most of the time. Oh, you have a translator running from your neural implant. Ah, yes. I'm cheating. Though, honestly, even without it, I have a pretty good idea of what he means most of the time. We've been together for a while now. Considering it only really works on large, typically predatory mammals, we don't have a lot of test subjects. It's a minefield of ethical concerns beyond just being prohibitively expensive. So Pad is a bear apart, at least until we can figure out how to apply the modified neural pathways without frying the brains of 90% of the subjects. The tech we developed is good. It just has a damned high mortality rate. It just explodes every brain you've ever touched, of course. That's the definition of good technology. Maybe one day there will be a bunch of talking tigers and dolphins building cities in the sea, but for now, we're stuck with creating beasts out of our own species. You, um... Why did you decide any of these things were what you wanted to do? What's the end game of the Dolphin City project, can I ask? Turing? I, I do. It's a little personal, though. Turing questions. If you didn't feel like answering. I have a question inside my mind. Just shoot, Turing. I'm going to shoot, shoot it directly at you. With my mouth cannons. Here we go. Long ago. <laughs> Long ago, when the pyramids were still young. How did you deal with it? Hayden's only been gone for a few days, and I already.
already feel like my circuits are going to lock up for good. Oh, Tori, I'm not the right person to ask. I hated my mother. She's everything I thought wrong in the world, and when she was gone, I felt nothing but relief that I could start undoing the damage she did. Never mind the fact I had to watch her waste away from the cancer. <sighs> Death was a blessing for us both. Besides, you'll find Hayden soon. Keep your chin up. Blast it! Enough with this subterfuge! We already know Hayden was killed. Oh, no. I won't be getting him back. I'm sorry, Tori. I still don't know what to tell you. I've lost people, but never anyone close enough to wound me. I I don't know that I've ever had anyone close enough to do that. If you feel like talking about it, I'm willing to listen. Or make Pat do it anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. Stick it out. Time heals all wounds. Or so they say. This too shall pass. Well, let us continue with our magic golem pursuits. Aww. Oh, just in time then. Take the cash and get moving. Briefcase full of those lovely dollars that we all like eat. I can finally get back to whatever it was I was doing before you burst in here. I saw a ghost wiggling on the TV screen. I'm going to wait until it appears again so that I can determine whether or not it was an actual ghost. Where's the wig wiggly wiggly shape? Okay, I've no idea what that is. Thank you, Aunt Melody. Your Might as well be a ghost. To us. We'll call it a ghost because it's it must be. Brown knows later. You've got things to do too. We've got to take the cash. Right the way home. Um, where do we go I now? I think I would feel such a strong resonance with Melody. We're connected by the barest of threads. Melody resonance back to trunk me. and said goodbye to the circus. Is that strange? It's a strange. Mate, the... I don't think that's the. the... Stranger Things theme at all. It's close enough. I guess there's nothing to do but run with it. We have met a, a psychic bear today. Some gifts are too valuable to look at too closely, lest they vanish into thin air. And I already have a penchant for overanalyzing things. Uh, you, you, you got the relic for your birthday as well. I see. They, re you know, they really should warn you in advance when you open it. Because, you know, you, you're looking at the package trying to get it open and you're like, oh, well, what's this? And then within seconds it's already gone and you've just been left with the inex inexplicable memory of the exact moment and circumstances of your own death. It's It feels like an exceptionally tasteless prank, to be honest. I don't know Let's get moving. why this took off as a we thing to do to, to do people. We can meet back up with Mr. Mensa. We have to... So we have to burgle a car manually, do we? Where's the... Where's the... Hello? Hello, I'm running away from the house. Good evening. I wanted to check in with you away from the prying eyes of my corporate masters. And so you, you decided to choose the literal residence of a corporate master. It wasn't too hard to track you down here. It only took a slight piece of power to follow your credit transactions in the AutoCAD system. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't it? Isn't it funny when the police abuse their power? Huh, I know I'm laughing. Jesus Christ. Um, we were able to find all, the, all of the burglaries that you wanted. Not much. 
Listen, I've hit a dead end on the investigation again, and I could really use another lead from the two of you. Okay. I've been busy hunting down a... I'm not sure if I want to call him a soldier of fortune or an assassin for hire. Oh, it's anyway, the one. I tracked this guy down to see if he might have been hired by Parallax to snatch Hayden, but he's got an ironclad alibi for the relevant period of time. That leaves me with nothing. Not a Jack Diddley shit. Can you put me in touch with this Jack Diddley you speak of? I'll get him to talk. Do the two of you have anything to give me? Otherwise, I'm back to hunting down the Froyo hating robot ghost in the park. I mean, I've got to be completely honest, I feel like that may actually be related. At least my superiors would be ecstatic, considering how much they keep riding my ass about it. We're on thin leads ourselves, Detective Rivers. Tightropes, they're also known as. We have a meeting with someone from inside Parallax who might be able to give us answers, but he's unlikely to want to talk to the police. I wish... I just... Wish this. Hmm. Never mind. Fuck up, Turing. I wish this was easier too. But with detective work, sometimes it's not about being clever. It's just about being more dogged and relentless than whoever you're chasing. You two are my new deputies, right? So keep your nose to the ground and keep digging. I still have a few contacts I can hit up to try finding out a little more. Activate mole mode. Dig all the clues out the earth. We know the earthworms hold secrets beyond our comprehension. You let me know if there's anything else I need to be going after. Earthworm, please away! Yeah, sure. Just get going. And then she slams her face into the ground and starts spinning and just drills... Drills her way out of the scene. Don't forget, if you die, I'm gonna kick your ass. You can't kick a ghost anymore. We took that power away. Silly okay, Plofficer. Only have a single lead. Only the single if one. If really is as shady as Vincent seems to suspect, it could end up very interesting. Interesting Let's see shades. If we can put an end to this. Finally. Oh, oh email. Received an email from Tomcat. Hmm. Email name. I finished decrypting Hayden's data cache. Intrigued Ling. It seems that it was filled mostly with his personal logs about my creation and mental development. Ooh -hoo. The more technical information was already scraped. Perhaps that is why it was left behind when they snatched him. Still, these files should be enlightening, if only in a personal way. I'll peruse them in my spare time and let you know if I find anything interesting. Peruse? I'd hate for all the trouble we went to to be for nothing. Alright. Well, it's almost time to leave this scene for a second time, and then hopefully it'll highlight where I need to go for car burglaries, because I don't really know what else to do. So... Tune in for the biggest theft of the smallest car we've ever found. We're gonna give you a clown car to escape quietly, and nobody ever nobody stops the clowns at the border. Clowns get free reign to commit whatever crime they want, because it's all in good japes, isn't it? Clown crime is the right crime for me and you this Christmas. That was a whole mayoral campaign about that. It was part of the platform. Clown crime for all. Um. Uh, bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs>